Hey everybody, I want you to look at this video. I can relate. I can relate so much. Someone called me to, because I do some freelance work. And I think this was going to pay me about what? Let me see. Okay, so we're looking at about, say for the month, pay me about nine, between nine and 10,000 for this month, okay? And it might be two months. I turned it down. Girl, are you crazy? Are you serious? I, I, I turned it down. Why did I turn it down? I turned it down because I didn't want to do it. Not that I couldn't do it. Done it before. Didn't want to do it. It's the end of the year. I'm going to close down one of the stores. Get the stuff donated. I want to start the new year off. Confirm debt free. You understand? You also know I trade. Well, 10000 is a whole lot of money. Yeah, it is. Of course. And I could use it. Have I made 10000 in a day? I've made five, seven, twelve thousand 12000 in a day and repeated the following week. I've done that before. I just don't want to do it. I don't want my whole day, hours and hours. It's the end of the year. And me and my friends, we talked about this here. We want to prepare for next year. We're already talking about, you know, taxes, things like that. We want to prepare. We want to get some things done. So I want you to listen to this video and I can relate because I said, you know, I, uh, you know, I'm like a whole month. And trust me, I've been there when I definitely needed the money. So I'm not gloating. I'm like a whole month, you know. And what will I make? I'm going to pass it up. I'm going to, I'm going to pass up 9,000 to the, I'm, I'm going to pass it up and it'll be an opportunity for someone else that may need it more than I do, but I don't want to do it. And this is why I started, I'm glad I started investing. So look at this video. I can relate to this here and no, he ain't no simp for crying. But you have to be strong, especially you, if you're a man, you have responsibilities. Women have to do with this every day. And we just, everybody just has to, you know, just, you got to keep going. So I totally get it. But just listen to this video, okay, really quick, about a minute. There is some, uh, I want to say adult language here. Some may find offensive, maybe a few F-bombs, as an F that starts with Fred or Frederica. So I just want to, if you know, some people are so offended by that, you may want to, uh, check that you know tune it out so one two three again he may have a few f bombs but let's check this out all the f bomb offenders out and here we go y'all i've had a series of fucking panic attacks that fucking work today like we are not supposed to live like this y'all we are not supposed to fucking go into work afraid to show your face because you've been fucking ugly crying in the bathroom like what the fuck like, I'm on lunch, and I don't want to go fucking back in, y'all. We we shouldn't have to struggle so fucking hard and then struggle to operate, struggle to, 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 to function as a person trying to make it. Like, what the fuck, y'all? And I don't have a solution. Like, we just, I don't know, y'all. This ain't fucking it, y'all. This ain't fucking it. I did not picture life being this fucking bullshit, y'all. And everything is so fucking fixable. Like, we... Yep, it's hard. We can do it, but nobody will do it. Like, what the fuck? Anyway, I love y'all. He's fed up. Women get fed up all the time and they have to do it because they have to take care of themselves and sometimes some children. He says, I regret this later. I don't know right now. I'm going to feel what I feel. Oh, I've had jo jobs like that. And it's like, oh my gosh. And what I did... I started me uh, a business on the side. 
and I started to get my money up to a certain point. And now, and I did have some help. I was engaged at the time. I did have some help. So that, that helped out. And I remember I was on lunch. And it got to the point, I was like so over this job. And it was a professional job, but it was like so, you know, just push a, push a, push a, push a grind. You, you know, my gosh. I mean, you know, cracking the corporate whip. And I remember being, I, I didn't cry, but I was in my car. And I remember like sitting there, I'm all dressed. And just to, I mean, the, the car is turned off. And then just to open a door and go inside, it's like, this is so draining. I dread going inside. Dreaded it. Hated it. So I start my little hustle. And that's what I would advise anybody else to do because they can kind of give you a little drive. So I'm going to get this started. Have X amount of dollars as a backup. And that's no guarantee, but still. And I remember I was at lunch one day and I was on the phone with my cousin. And he's like, you know, you don't have to go back in there. He said, you have your own business. He said, you already have an office. You're paying somebody. He said, you need to be where your business is. You, you paying somebody in there to work for you. You're the business owner. You're on a job. He's like, you need to be at your business. That's the problem. And I was on my lunch. You know what I did? I went back in there. It was like boop, a burst of energy. I went back in there, got my little stuff, and I, I typed up a little a resignation letter. And it's, oh, no, we need to talk about it. We, we need to talk about it. And the manager was like, well, hold on. I don't want to make a rash decision. I, I, I can't accept the letter right now, but let's just give it two weeks. I said, no, no. And then I will never forget it. I said, I'm not giving it two weeks. I said, I'm resigning effective now. Effective now. And that's what I did. And I left like a burden lifted. And that money was decent. Oh, of course, it, it was decent, you know, and, and, I, uh, and no children, just me. It's too much. So I can relate to somebody going through this. What I would advise you to do, time to follow your dream. What is your dream? You don't have one? Hell, find one. What's your passion? And I know it gets tough. Start working on it. You're going to be so tired, but sometimes that can kind of give you a little energy because you already know, okay, I've got this going on. I don't care if you just wrote it down. If you only got $5 set on the side for it, you have, you have an idea. I don't care if you don't have $2. Should I cash out you to $2? Seriously, you have an idea. Something to work toward. And then mentally, you'll know that this ain't it. See, well, you don't have, I think, and this is my opinion, when you're at this place and you don't have anything else as a backup or something you're working toward, that makes it hella hard because you're like, oh my gosh, I hate this and I want to leave and I can't financially. I get it. Been there, done that. Then as I made a little change, I started learning to invest. And that is why now someone calls me, well, it'll pay you nine, ten thousand dollars a month. Someone call for this, okay, for the project. That's a low, and it's gonna be, you know, a lot of hours. I get it. I can say no. Trust me, I've seen the time I would have jumped at it. Heck yeah, I needed the money like yesterday. Been there. Needed the money like yesterday would have jumped out. Oh, would have been doing a happy dance. Been there, done that. Am I rich? No. $19,000? Thanks. No thanks. Why? That's not what I want. I'm doing. I want to do what I want to do. I want to do some things that I need to do for me because I have a plan. A plan.
even though the market is down heck i'm down right now i just put twenty one thousand dollars into something guess what y'all It's only worth two thousand today ah it happens it's some options but i still have time so i'm not freaking out yet now if i do a video y'all be here oh y'all y'all might know okay so something must have went wrong <laughs> okay so yeah, I'm not a rich person, but I know I know what that's like. And I'm not going to tie myself to nobody's project that I hate to do, that I dread it. I'm not going to wake up in the morning, been there, done it, lying in the bed, and you're like, I hate to get up because I would have known got to go to this bomb diggity job that I really don't like. Anybody, sir or ma'am, we're all human. We get fed up. Maybe he doesn't realize it. That job is not for you and you so hate it. This is your, I think this is your uh, hint to start working on your dream. What do you want to do? Sir, it's time for you to go ahead and get your plan in motion. That's what this moment is for you. You've got a moment of clarity. Time to get your plan in motion. And maybe if you start working on that plan, my experience, it gets a little easier because you know this ain't the end I'll be all. I would advise any, I mean, the the year ending holidays, if you uh, participate in the holidays, not a bad idea to buy, get somebody a share of stock. You never know. You never know what's going to happen. Life is business. These jobs don't give a darn about you. I don't know. You're going to show up and get the work done. That's it. That's it. So sometimes when these things happen, I don't think he'll regret it later. You may have somebody teasing this man, and I'm not going to do that because I've been there with all human. This is your wake-up call. I, I believe it's a wake-up call. It's time for you to do something different. Maybe it's your cue to start building your own. You don't know what you want to do? Sit down and think about things. What's your personality? Google businesses that you might can do. Go do it. You regret this later. I think you'll regret it later if he doesn't make a move. If you just sit there and do nothing but and just stay there. Then you might regret it. If you just sit there and stay there and do nothing else. Then that you might regret it. But this here. I think you'll only regret it if he doesn't start making a plan. Put it in the paper, put it on your laptop, put it in your phone. Finance gives you freedom. If anybody had told me you, I would turn down $9,000 or $10,000, I said, girl, you are crazy. You must don't know me. I know myself, been there, done that, and I prepared. I may split on a few things, live very tightly, have a plan. Well, you, you don't, you know, money is a motivator, I get it, and we all have bills to pay. Have a plan, stick to it. So it's not about regretting later. I think you'll only regret it if he doesn't make a move. You can make the move in your mind. I understand you have bills to pay. I, I, I get it. Oh, but I've been been there. It's like, uh, it's like, oh my gosh, I am like so dreading to even like get up out of bed because I hate this job. Been there. And I started side hustles and then I started more than one side hustle. And then the best thing, one was definitely learning to invest. Right now, things are down, but you know what? I'm not really worried that much. Because, see, when I was doing 12000 this week, uh, move this expression out, 12000 again, oh, 20000 overnight. Uh, I may have gone to a certain store, which you all know that I like or two. Me, I'm a, I love handbags, hey. It's, three of them I haven't even carried. And then they made that little mix-up, you know. But 
when that was going on, I wasn't, hey, hey, oh, we finna go to Jamaica again, y'all on me, hey, oh, let's go get all iced up, we been iced up, you kidding? Our numbers start with my crew, late 30s and four, <laughs> maybe five, come on, wasn't doing all of that, oh, let's go to the casino, no. When I was doing that, oh, 12 here, five here, seven here. I was sometimes, besides the Gucci store, I was going also to the fifth store. Yeah. With my flip-flops on. I wear more flip-flops from the Dollar Tree. I put it this way. The Gucci and Prada loafers, they're in the box, and some might have some dust on them. Mm-hmm. Sitting up, why? My favorite, I really like the flip-flop, and I get mine from the uh, $1.20. They cost a dollar twenty-five cents. Yes, ma'am. I said it. Even, you understand? Do you? It's just, you know, a shoe is a shoe, but it just depends on what you like. So when I was making a little money like that, I said, oh, okay. I was I was just taking on me an extra reserve for the next year. I try to plan things out. Like for next year, I'm going to need how much money. Okay, I want to make sure I got for all expenses next year, even if you're married. All expenses next year, which I'm pretty much debt free, I got this, you know, so uh, fine. So anybody going through this, oh, been there, done that, not a stranger to it. It's your wake up call. You deserve better. It's time to start working on it. So start working on your dream. I know what this is like, and I'm not gonna make fun of anybody, male or female. Like I said, I've been there. I wasn't crying, but I've I've been there. Everybody's different. You got a family to feed, child support, children. I I, I get it. But sometimes when things like this happen and you feel at your breaking point, I think that's just a, hey, Henry, Benita, Keisha. That's just the hint that it's time for you to start working on the next chapter of your life. Mm -hmm. It's time for you to start getting your wings. Get a plan in motion. Because why life is hard. And it's too short to be unhappy. And I said it's because I care. I actually um, wish this guy well. Because trust me, I understand. Like I said, I think the only thing he'll regret. You may have somebody teasing him. Are you a grown man? Are you crying? You shouldn't be crying. We're all human. But I, I, I understand this feeling. Women just have to suck it up and keep on moving. You can't be crying, girl. You know, we, we got to. What they say, strong. We got to be strong. We all got to be strong. But when you reach a moment like this here, I think it's just your calling. This is your time to go ahead and act. Put a plan in motion. Child, put in your plan to escape. Escape that J-O-B. Okay? So get that escape route. Let me know what you guys think. Feel free to comment, like, subscribe, and share. Soon be said here on YouTube. And I'm out. Love ya.